Alright, Julian is cooking more liquid culture and it is time to unload the sterilizer. And there it is, rye berries people, lots of rye berries. Now, when I designed these systems, they weren't exactly designed with being run like every single day. I mean, mainly because first off, they take a good, you know, 14 hours to 20 hours, depending the size of the substrate that you put in there. I mean, these are still hot. Uh, but the, uh, the real issue is, is that they're vertical and not horizontal and loading them and unloading them and loading them and unloading them um, is actually much more difficult when you've got vertical machines. So, you know, we did not plan on using these. Initially, when I designed these, we were going to grow mushrooms for money <laughs> uh, because that was the hobby I was in. But we got into biobanking and culturing and we really just ended up using these to... Uh, to, for us personally, you know, to make grain spawn at first. And uh, now the big problem is that we sell a barrel like this every day. I mean, so it's like back and forth between these two barrels every day, uh, filling with rye berries. And honestly, it's getting so expensive right now with the rye berries, uh, just the cost of them, that it's almost, uh, it's almost not a good business for us to be in. Especially since I'm such a perfectionist, I mean, You'll notice that, okay, this is an atmospheric steam sterilization system that's set up with powder coating controllers, actually. That's what I augmented that from. But our rye berries come out of this whole process um, looking like a perfect little cube. Let me show you what they're supposed to look like. A perfect little cube. The plastic is in great condition. Uh, and this is all very planned. Uh, using this atmospheric steam sterilization system, it keeps it looking like a product. And it's been great for sales. I mean, people can't get enough of these things. The big problem for us is that we need a much better way to produce them. While my little clever uh, system here is great if you're doing, you know, green for yourself or a substrate for yourself, <clears throat> it's really hard to make a production product uh, out of these machines on a constant day-to-day -day basis. Literally, this it's gotten so bad that when I get up here to reach in here like this and reach down in the bottom, I'm actually developing nerve damage in my shoulder <laughs> from uh, from the overreach and reaching way down in there. So I've got to, uh, you know, we're gonna have to reinvent the system just so I uh, I can keep doing this. And I guess we're gonna be going into maybe a horizontal system that uh, is gonna be designed to be much easier to load. So. We'll see how it goes. I mean, it's going to definitely be a challenge. I've seen lots of guys, you know, mount barrels sideways and do it that way. But I'm probably going to do something a little bit more extreme. Like maybe just turn this entire room into a 180 degree sterilization room. I might just put a few inches of insulation along this whole thing and then steel and just pretty much build an oven in here. Oh, the permits and codes for that are going to be insane. <laughs> They're probably not going to let me do it. Um, we're going to have to maybe buy one to just buy a room to go in here. We'll see. I mean, this is where we're at though, people. I, I can't keep doing this forever with, the, uh, with this vertical system. So I am going to have to find a way and, and let's talk about pressure cooking. Pressure cooking is not an option for us. Okay, we do have a beautiful autoclave here that would probably hold a, a good amount of bags, not as much as those barrels hold. But that's not an option because this being a product, this plastic uh, behaves really poorly inside of a pressure cooker. And I don't know if you use a lot of pressure cookers, but uh, when you use a pressure cooker and you put plastic bags in them, they come out kind of fatigued in a way that you can't recover from and it makes it very it makes it hard to look good so we like our products to look good and function you know we don't want them to to uh, look all shriveled up and the plastic be important now they're all honesty that doesn't hurt anything that's inside of it there's no problem with those products 
directly. I mean, uh, I'm just a perfectionist. And the fact is, if we're going to sell a product, I want our product to be the best product that we can sell, right? So if that's the case, then uh, I've got to ensure that every part of the process is going to produce the best product possible. So um, that's it. That's my, that's my complaint of the day is I need to build a better system here. So this is Matt at liquidfungi.com. Uh, give me some ideas. Write your comments below. Let me know what you think I should do or how hard you think that uh, converting this room into a 180 degree oven is going to be. I'm anxious to see your comments. Bye, guys.